my wife told me not to use lovely to y'all anymore, so um, I try to think of some other uh, superlatives uh, to describe the moments that have uh, gone on the last two days, three days. Um, you know, it's been exciting, it's been nerve wracking, it's been a little awkward, a little weird, uh, just being back at home. You know, it's my second time being in Barclays other than going to the Duke game. And, um, you know, it just wasn't ideal. So uh, I was just trying to be in the moment, be there for my teammates more importantly, and, um, you know, just do what I could to just settle everybody in the crowd. You know, it was just going to get a little crazy regardless. So when I stepped in, um, hugged Joe, uh, hugged Ali, you know, hugged my teammates at halftime. Didn't know we were going to get fined uh, and things were going to transpire again. But, um, you know, we're, we're such a, a close group that I think at this point we're ready to deal with whatever comes our way. And uh, we talk about it, keep everything internal as best we can, and then, um, you know, just make decision moving forward as a group. But, uh, you know, just didn't want to take up all the attention. Obviously, K had 53, and then moving on till tonight, you know, going again, it, it just shows you, like, we're on our way to history. Um, and uh, in order to make history, some things are just not going to go your way, but you just got to be able to bow through it. Yeah, somebody told me on the bench what it was, um, you know, and I'm I'm just grateful it came in the flow of the game. You know, a few shots probably I shouldn't have taken, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, tough ones, you know, double teams, triple teams coming, but, uh, you know, as long as I could do it with a smile on my face and, and my teammates weren't too angry at me, it, it made uh, this night uh, worthwhile. Uh, it was just about the team, really, just like getting in a flow. That's the true pure purity of this game is uh, doing it uh, efficiently, doing it on both ends of the floor, and then coming out with the W. So I'm just glad that it wasn't an empty 50-plus game and, and we could go uh, back home and, and just get things started again tomorrow. Making history, man. Making history. And, uh, you know, doing it that guy is very special. Uh, but again, you know, credit goes to our group. It's just really how close we are. You know, these, our guys in our locker room, they, they really believe in us. They really rock with us. There's not a, a doubt in our mind that they really believe that we can do something special. And not just this year, but for years to come. You know, we have, we have a good group and we're all sacrificing something that's bigger than ourselves. So when we come into the locker room, we just enjoy being with each other and playing the game that we love. Yeah, I'll be doing what you guys do. I'll probably wear a media pass, man. <laughs> start asking questions. Start doing things. <laughs> start doing other things around the game, man. Having fun bringing, you know, camera and stuff. Start taking pictures on the sideline and start asking you guys questions in the media scrum and stuff like that. How you feel about tonight, you know? But who knows, man. But uh, tomorrow, to uh, see what happens. I mean, it's not the best feeling in the world. It's a little awkwardness, but, uh, you know, showing up there with my family and getting uh, a warm embrace from New York, uh, Brooklyn, you know, just everybody that's there to support the Nets and support our organization and uh, support me uh, and, and just support what's going on out here and want to see a change. It, it's just I'm, I'm grateful that I'm not alone in this pursuit right now. And uh, my teammates have my back. The organization has my back. And, um, you know, so going there is... You know, I just feel like I'm just a casual fan uh, driving to the game. And, um, you know, hopefully I don't have to feel like this as much anymore. So Kyrie's night tonight, but when they play Dallas tomorrow, yep. 